welcome to Innovate Perth. I'm Carmen Braidwood. Jane, what do you think? Do you think that it's a waste of time? After a day spent hunting and gathering in the West Coast food bowl town of Carnarvon, it's time to pack up the car and get back out on the Coral Coast Highway. <laughs> Sterile? No, more like shiny and bright and sparkling new like a diamond. How much do we know so far? This place really is the home of Australian surf culture. Back in the 60s here at the Snake Pit, you'd have been hard pressed to walk even a few metres without bumping into a surfer, blonding his hair with a bit of lemon juice. Well, how about that, huh? Our road trip from Perth to Exmouth has taken us through some of the most incredible destinations. I'm never going to detract from our federal government trying to find inefficiencies and crack down on them. I've planned a short road trip to show you three ways to make the most of Perth's stunning waterways in winter. On this part of the road trip, we'll see some sites that are uniquely Australian. I reckon I'll come back. <laughs> Ta-da. The Murchison River here in the amazing Kalbarri National Park is a great place to wrap up a day. The people of Perth are changing the way we live, the way we work, the way we think, and they're putting our fabulous city on the map. With local produce featuring on the carefully curated menus and views to die for. From an ecotourism perspective, what's so unique about the station? We've run out of time because oh, we were sorry. so angry. Get in. Hey, no, that's, that's no problem. Look at those views. Magnificent, right? And the bubbles is equally to die for. On today's trip, all roads lead to our ultimate short stay location, which, frankly, I can't wait to show you. It's one of my personal favourites. Thank you for watching.